Ultra Beast were a new type of Pokemon introduced to us in Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I gotta say, these things look very different. Their designs take abstract to a whole new level, and honestly, it's a breath of fresh air to see a different style of Pokemon designs. But since it's been revealed, Ultra Beasts have been shrouded in mystery. What exactly are Ultra Beasts? What else lies further in Ultra Space? Are there more than five Ultra Beasts? And that question is what we are going to find out today. Wait, you know that there's more than five Ultra Beasts? Well, no. They're actually just possible Ultra Beasts that I would like to see in Pokemon. Then how are you answering the question? Huh. Welcome to the top 5 possible new Ultra Beasts for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Before we start though, I should also mention that I do not own any of the Ultra Beast artwork used in this video. Links to the actual artist are in the description. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And with that being said, let's get started. A video game that everybody and their mom has asked me to play happens to be the famous indie title Undertale. And I have to admit, I had my doubts about the game, what with its less than stellar graphics and really, really annoying fans. Like, why do you guys sexualize everything? Like, why? Anyways, ranting aside, I was actually pleasantly surprised at how amazing this game is. The music, the storytelling, the writing, everything was just mwah, just, just beautiful, just f***ing beautiful. And when I saw that there was an Ultra Beast design based off the Undertale series, I couldn't help but put it on the list. This design made by Locomotive 111 takes inspiration from Toriel, the first character you meet in the game. The design, or UB10 Caretaker, also incorporates the Delta Rune, which is a symbol in Undertale of a prophesized angel angel of death that would come to bring salvation to the monster race. Now I know that sounds vague to a person that has never played Undertale before, but if I go into any more detail, it would just spoil the game. So if you really want to know more, just play the game, I really recommend it. As for typing, Locomotive has this Pokemon being a fire fairy type with its obvious ability being beast boost. Moving on to stats, I would love to see this Pokemon have really good defenses, HP, and special attack, but to keep it more evened out, lower its speed a ton. I don't know about you, but I think this Pokemon would be amazing to have. Planets. They're cool, right? <laughs> well, if you like astronomy as much as I do, then this design called Alagod made by Ikario382 is the perfect Ultra Beast for you. It has all the makings of the perfect astronomy Pokemon. Planets, stars, the blue thing, Arceus fence, What's not to like? But in all seriousness, this is a really dope design. It has a very Yu-Gi-Oh-esque design to it, and a friend of mine actually pointed out the similarities between this design and the Yu-Gi-Oh card Helios. But unlike Helios, the stats I have for this monster is definitely no. I would love to see this Pokemon have god tier speed and special attack with all of its other stats being subpar. And to pair with that amazing special attack, I would love to see UB Infinity get its own signature move. Let's call it Planetary Explosion. As for typing, Psychic Ghost or Psychic Dark would work, but I would love to see Game Freak use a new typing for this Pokemon. Maybe Cosmic? Hey, Planetary Explosion would be a perfect name for a Cosmic type move. Ever since I saw Nihiligo's fused form with Lusamine, I always thought that its design could make an amazing Ultra Beast. That's why when I saw this design, UBE Elder, or Septed, I thought it was perfect. According to Locomotive, its design is based off the Elder Ones of Lovercraft's literature, which includes the infamous Cthulhu, and of course, Nihiligo's fused form. But what I find really interesting about this Pokemon is what Locomotive says in its dex entry. It appears to have dominion over Nihiligo, considered to be the most dangerous Ultra Beast for its ability to inflict an ill domineering personality with its neurotoxins. I like the fact that the dex gives a good backstory as to why this Pokemon is in the game. The simple fact that it's related in some form to Nihiligo also gives great context as to why Nihiligo's fused form looks the way it does. And since it's the most dangerous 
dangerous ultra beast except it has to have monster stats. So how does this sound? 101 HP, 113 defense, 107 special defense, and 137 special attack. And to go with these stats, Locomotive has this Ultra Beast typing Poison Psychic, which makes sense considering Septid involves itself with Neurotoxins and controls all of the Nihiligo. With all of these things put together, this monster is almost as scary as the Great Cthulhu itself. Almost. It's kind of surprising that Game Freak hasn't made any Pokemon based on Nintendo made characters. It would be a great way to give exposure to other Nintendo games. Which is why when I saw this design which made the biggest video game icon into a Pokemon, I, I just had to put it on the list. And think about it, Mario Odyssey, which is the next Mario IP, comes out a month before Ultra Sun and Moon. It would be a nice tip of the hat to the other big dog within Nintendo and could also give some nice exposure for Mario Odyssey. Although, I don't really think Mario would need it that much. Moving on, let's actually talk about the Ultra Beast that made the list. UB07 Jumper, or Carplario, whichever one you want to call it. For typing, Locomotive has this Pokemon being a flying fire type, which is nice considering there's only two primary flying type Pokemon. As for stats, I can see Carplario having really good physical attack and defenses while also lacking in speed and good HP. And again, Locomotive does a great job with its dex entry. Supposedly, beasts have a universally destructive nature, but witnesses observed Carplario coming to the rescue of females of various species. Hmm, that sounds very familiar. I know some people may not like this idea of combining video game characters with Pokemon, but I personally do. When looking at my number one favorite fan created Ultra Beast, I honestly had no other reason to put it on this list other than it just looks really cool. Meet UB09 Steam, better known as Ketelect, which is a combination of Kettle, Electric, and Insect. It also rolls off the tongue really well. Honestly, Locomotive did a phenomenal job with this design. I mean, he combined a Steam Kettle, a Millipede, Freight electrical wire and a steam train and still managed to make it look badass. As for typing, I think it makes sense for it to have a water electric typing considering it's based on a steam kettle and has electrical wiring all over its body. But since this Pokemon looks like such a beast, I think it's only appropriate we give it monster-like stats. I think giving Ketelect base 179 attack as well as 107 speed would be more than enough to make this Ultra Beast a force to be reckoned with. I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely be afraid to go up against Ketelect. What a beast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and become an Aribro today. I also want to take a second to thank all the artists that helped make this video possible. So special thanks to Locomotive and Icaro. Links to their DeviantArts will be in the description, and I highly suggest you go check them out. I know for a fact that they have some more amazing Ultra Beast designs that I didn't even show in this video. So again, I really encourage you guys to go check them out. Their stuff is amazing. If if you want to check out the previous video I did, then be sure to click the annotation on the left. If you want to see more Ultra Sun and Moon videos, click the other annotation on the right. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.